Hello, Cancers. I'm going to get right into your story. So whatever the cards want to say, I'll see what comes up. As always, if you want to book a private reading with me, my email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. And that is right below in the description box. Also, if this reading resonates with you, please like, comment, and share. I'm still trying to get back in the algorithm, so it really helps me a lot when you guys engage, even just leaving a, a simple heart comment. Um, so I feel like you found out something. There is some kind of message here. I've got to look more into it. There's either gossip and rumors going around, or there's some kind of message that you got. Something, something hidden is being revealed. I feel like that's a common theme right now in the collective is just secrets coming to light. Uh, there's kind of almost like a like a collective purging process, I guess, in a way. Temperance, Two of Cups. Tell me more about the Page of Swords and the Moon. Because I feel like this woman is in this, this male or female, but somebody is in a Queen of Swords energy because of some kind of secret or some kind of gossip or rumors that came out. What is this about? The Tower. The Hierophant. Knight of Pentacles. Judgment. Six of Cups. The Lovers. For those of you that didn't just find something out, I feel like this might be your person. I feel like somebody got in their head because there was a tower moment where it's like this person wanted the hierophant with you. I feel like they wanted that commitment. They wanted something solid with you. And they still do, I feel, deep down. But it feels like there was a tower moment where maybe somebody that was jealous got in their head. There might have been rumors, gossip. I feel like it was just easier for this person to just believe the worst because I feel like they might have been thinking about marriage, long-term commitment, really uh, wanting to solidify things with you. And then it's like there was just something that came to light. Um, for some, this actually could honestly be something that you did do. This could be like if you cheated or if you had another person on the side, they might have found out about this and it might have caused this tower moment where they're kind of, they might be the one that's guarded. For others, I feel like either you found out a secret about them, something came to light, or I feel like maybe people in the community spread gossip. There's rumors because they didn't want to see you guys together. And now you're in Queen of Swords energy or King of Swords energy because you feel guarded because you don't really understand like why this person was just all about you, making plans, wanting a future. And then all of a sudden they started acting weird, started acting like they didn't trust you as much, like kind of acting confused. Let's look more into this and then we're going to get, but it seems like something's being balanced out. So there's some kind of like clarity or something that's coming here. Because I feel like this person was moving quicker and then it's like they... You know, they were really moving towards that commitment and then they slowed down with the Knight of Pentacles. They're like, wait, maybe I'm rushing things. Let me be logical. Let me be balanced. Let me ground myself. Let me make sure I can really trust this person. But I feel like they're making a judgment call now. And with the Six of Cups, I think that judgment call is that they're they're feeling nostalgic. They're feeling... This is also... Six of Cups is also like childlike innocence. It's, it's kind of like that... Um, it, it's just it's just like a very like childlike innocent card so I feel like they're making a judgment call for some they might have also had a third party maybe they had kids with a third party and the the mother or father of their children was trying to use the kid against them and now they're making a judgment call and they're like you know what no I'm, I'm smarter than this I'm going to see through this I'm, I'm not I'm not letting them use the kid against me but for others I think they're making a judgment call and they're seeing you in this kind of innocent light so I think that they used to see you as this kind of innocent pure loving being and then whatever got in their head made them kind of like rethink that and they got kind of scared but now I think they're seeing you they're making a judgment call and seeing you in this light again and with the lovers here they are seeing you as the one there's some kind of divine intervention here where there's something being balanced out temperance and then the two of cups so it's like they're wanting to find that balance and make you this love offer tell me more about this king of pentacles 
Could be an earth sign that you're dealing with. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Emperor. Yeah, this person is stepping into a very grounded masculine energy for you. Male or female. So you could be, this could be two men, this could be two women. If I say male, but you know it's female, just, you know, take it how, how it resonates. Or if I say male and female and you know it's, it's you know, like two women or something, just, just take it however it resonates. And it's not always love. Sometimes this could be about a friend or family member as well. So use your intuition here. Always use these as like an intuitive exercise. But regardless of the gender, it seems like this person is stepping into a masculine role. You know, the King of Pentacles is very grounded, very stable, might be someone that's getting their finances together, working on their physical appearance, going to the gym, um, because they want this Ten of Pentacles with you. They want to be stable. I feel like this person is also not listening to the rumors about you anymore. And with the Emperor here too, it's like they're, this is like daddy energy. This is somebody who's in a very strong, powerful, masculine energy. They want that Ten of Pentacles with you, so they're going to work for it. Yeah, Knight of Swords, they're coming in quick because they want to work for it. What's the Nine of Swords doing here? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel guilt and anxiety because they... <laughs> Either they felt like you had someone else or for some you might have, like I said, for some you might have been the one that heard some sort of gossip and rumor. Ace of Swords, there's truth and clarity coming out. Page of Pentacles, yeah, they want to make you some kind of offer. I feel like they're coming in quick and I feel like they're coming in as the King of Cups. Eight of Cups, what are they walking away from? Four of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. They're walking away from a queen of pentacles. So this could be, this might be, so like I said, there's two different storylines here. Um, so this queen of pentacles is either somebody that got in their head and spread rumors. And it's really interesting because this, it's, it seems like the Leo reading I did was really long, but it almost seems like some of you might be in that energy group too. Um, and I'm sorry, I kind of, that, that was, I, I kind of rambled quite a bit in that reading. That one was a, that that was an intense one for Moon, but <clears throat> um, what they're walking away from is the Queen of Pentacles, and this is either the person that spread rumors about you, was lying about you, or if a secret came about about them, like if there was some kind of secret that was revealed that they were the one that had a third party, I feel like they're walking away from that now. They know they can't play games anymore. Yeah, they're walking towards, they want their Empress. They want the Queen of Wands. This is amazing because I actually I actually got the Empress and the Queen of Wands in the Leo video. So it's like, oh, wow, that's amazing. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to build something with the Queen of Wands. Three of Wands. The Fool. The Devil. What's the Devil showing up here for? So with Temperance and the Two of Cups, it's like they want to find that balance and they want to heal this connection and they want to bring this Two of Cups in. I just feel like they made some kind of mistake here and now they want to go back and try to fix it. Okay, so we have a new start. Tell me more about the devil. I feel like this person also knows that like if they keep waiting for the ship to sail in, if they're just waiting and waiting and waiting, it's like it's not going to come. It's like... You know, what's that saying? Like boil, boiling water never never boils or whatever whatever it is. It's like they're realizing that they need this new start. But what is the devil here for? The sun. Five of wands. Nine of wands. Six of swords. Seven of pentacles. Ace of wands. This is, so in the context, like, because Six of Wands, I mean, it can be leaving something behind, but I actually feel like in this context, I feel like it's kind of saying the devil is going to be illuminated. Like, whatever this secret was, it's coming out. So whether they had someone, whether you had someone, or if someone is lying to them, if someone was doing black magic or doing anything to try to manipulate them, if there was some kind of rumors being spread here, people are, that person's going to have bad karma. Like it's going to come back on that person. There's some kind of truth that's being revealed. Um, there's some kind of like clarity or something I feel that's, that's taking place here. 
not just with your connection, but I feel like in the community, I feel like there's some kind of, there's, there's, yeah, because the sun is a very positive card. So it's like, there's some kind of truth and clarity that's coming out. And I feel like this person is, is walking away from that drama. They're leaving that behind. I also feel like this person is willing to fight for you again. They know it's going to take patience and perseverance to really get your trust back, but they are wanting that. They are wanting that new start with the Ace of Wands there. And the Seven of Pentacles is about, you know, patience, perseverance. It's like this person's, you know, there, you see him, he's like, he or she is taking that time to, to plant and grow these crops. They're, they're making that effort, um, and I almost feel like I don't, you know, because I always channel. So sometimes I look at the cards differently. Like I'll, I'll channel the storyline and then it kind of all comes together. And I almost feel like she's like sad in this in this image. Like I never looked at it like that before, but it's almost like he has to be the one in control now because this person, male or female, is just sad. They're not. And there's a child there, too. And, and she's just like not doing it anymore. He has to be the one to step up and, and move them to calmer waters and put the work in here. Um because maybe, I mean, if there were rumors that were believed about you, even if they weren't true, maybe it kind of broke your trust a little bit that he didn't really, he or she didn't really have your back and just ask you straight up. Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Tell me more about this. Or Seven of Swords, I should have said, sorry. Um, eight of Swords. Ten of Cups. It's such an interesting energy. So it's almost like saying there are going to be some bumps in the road with this connection because there was. I mean, I feel like I feel like if this person did believe other people, if they did believe rumors, um, I feel like it's like this person has really bad trust issues and it was pretty easy to get in this person's head and make them believe those rumors. It's kind of like they just it, it was almost easier for this person to believe the worst than to believe the best. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like even though this person is thinking now, okay, that was stupid. I should have trusted my person. I should have kept building and, and, you know, restoring this relationship. Like I wanted to, I shouldn't have just shut down and not talk to them and not ask them straight up about the rumors. Um, but it's still kind of in their head a little bit, you know what I mean? Cause this person still has this almost like too good to be true mentality. So even though this truth is being revealed about whoever this was that tried to interfere, um, this person is still kind of like, well, what if, what if it is true? Like, what if, like, what if that, what, you know, what if, what if that is real? What if, you know what I mean? Like they're still in their head a little bit, but they're still working through it. Um, or if this was like, if you did cheat or something like that, or if there was some kind of actual betrayal, it's like, I do see them wanting to work through it anyway. Um, but you have to really be careful because this person's trust is kind of fragile right now. Or like I said, there's the other storyline as well that I was channeling where you might have found out some secret. You might have found out some kind of uh, like betrayal or some kind of sneakiness might have come out. It might have been people trying to separate you from this person. Just people trying to get you in your, in your head, basically. Um, but yeah, Southern of Swords, it's like you guys are rebuilding from that. And with Four of Wands, it's like soulmates, twin flames. But there's still a little bit of like, you know, eight of swords, is like victim mentality, like trapped fear, like un uncertainty. But you guys are still moving forward together with the chariot and the ten of cups. Like you guys are still going towards that ten of cups, towards that ultimate stability. Um, before I wrap the reading up, is there anything you want to say really quick about the whoever this was that, well, we got the queen of pentacles that, that might have caused this, that he was walking. Yeah, third party. Yeah, it's it's that's like the biggest confirmation I've ever gotten that it's over with the third party is or it's ending with the third party is ten of swords, three of swords, damn. That's like that was like a betrayal for sure. Some kind of third party. What was this third party's motives? Tell me more about it. Strength. Six of Pentacles. New perspective. Hanged man, five of cups. Let me see here. So you see in this card, it's like he's giving all this to this one person and like she's over here like, hey, like, where's mine? You know? I feel like she felt like the 
connection was imbalanced. This could even be like a family member or friend or something that did this as well. Strength can also be, strength is about like repressing. I mean, it can be about like holding back emotions and, um, you know, make, may being logical, not being too hasty, but it's almost like you see how it's almost, I see it in like more of a controlling light where it's like someone, someone that was very controlling, very toxic, could be like one of those mother or father figures that like thinks no one's good enough for their kid. And they just, they, they want to be the one that's, you know, they want all the attention on themselves. And it's almost like he was having a new perspective and maybe letting this person go and like, yeah, because this person is very toxic. I get very, I get like a very controlling vibe from this. This is someone who probably, um, just super controlling. I don't, let me see. King of Wands, the Magician, the Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Wands. Justice. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Seven of Cups. Hmm. Four of Swords and Seven of Cups. That's interesting. Yeah, I feel like whoever this was, it's like they tried to... It's almost like this person was coming into their power and they didn't want to see this person in their power. They didn't want to see this person happy and healthy and healing. They didn't want to see... They didn't want to see them um, on a better path. They wanted to keep them at a low vibration with them. They wanted to, this is like somebody that wants to isolate them, not just from their true love, but also from everybody, like from like, you know, even, even friends of the, of the same sex, even friends that are no romantic threat um, or even like family members. This is somebody who just like doesn't want to see them in their power. They don't want to see them happy. They don't want to see them healing and growing. They don't want to see them being emotional and vulnerable. They want them to stay stagnant. They want them to stay right where they at so that they have that control. And I feel like this person kind of sensed that, you know, this person was, you know, your person was letting them go with the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands. Your person was 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 letting that go. Um, justice. There's divine intervention here, though. This person might be single for a little bit and they have to kind of go inward. Um, I kind of feel like this is saying too that, let me see, four of swords, seven of cups, two of swords. Yeah, it's like, that's what this person did. They put them in their head in conflict. Four of swords can be like meditating rest, but it's almost like they got to them when they were in that state and confused them and made them, you know, just like seven of cups can be options, but it can also be illusion. And there was some kind of block. There was some kind of chaos, but this is being cleared up right now, right now, right? Yep. Star, hope, healing, high priestess, page of wands. So yeah, victory, six of wands. This is being cleared up. Protect your energy and protect your space right now too. If you know who this is, that's doing this. Um, keep those... If you have like protective spells or rituals or wards up, keep them charged, keep them, keep them up, keep them going. Um, anyway, I hope this helps you guys. As always, if you want a private reading, just email me. And please, uh, if this resonates, please leave a heart comment. Like I said, it really helps me get back in the algorithm again.